Welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you step by step how to value a stock to determine whether it's a buy or a sell. At the end we look at the financial ratios. Leave a comment and I'll be sure to answer. We're going to look at Siena Senior Living which is a Canadian publicly traded senior housing company based in Ontario. It owns 70 senior living residences in addition to managing 13 for third parties all located in Ontario and British Columbia. In Ontario, Siena is the largest long-term care operator and a company trades on the Toronto Stock Exchange. Let's get started with the model. This company has a market cap of 743 spot $5 million. So it's a pretty small company. Let's get the stock price. They're trading at 1109. And the way you value a company is you estimate the future free cash flows and then discount that number back to today's value. That's what we're doing in this video. Now I'm going to pull their actual free cash flow. We also need the net income, which is the profit and loss on the income statement. And we also got to pull the revenue, which are the sales on the income statement. We also want to take a quick look at the numbers. So everything looks positive and fairly consistent. We should get a good value for the company. Their revenue is increasing every year, although their margins are decreasing. Profit margin is net income over revenue. It's how well you convert revenue into net income. So if you have low profit margins, that means your expenses are high. Let's look at a capital structure. The interest they pay in their debt is $36 million. Let's see how much debt they have. We'll go to the balance sheet. We'll go to liability section. Current debt of 44 million. That's debt due within 12 months. Non-current debt of 947 million. That's debt due after 12 months. Since interest payments are tax deductible, let's get their effective tax rate. Income before tax of 13 million. Income tax of five and a half million. So the cost of debt is 2.14%. Let's get the beta so we can figure out the cost of equity. The beta is how volatile the stock is relative to the market. So the beta of 0.9, so the stock moves a little less than the Canadian market. Let's get their current assets. We need this to calculate the current ratio later. And current assets is on the balance sheet and that's 54 million. Let's see what that's made up of. 20 million of cash, 13 million of net receivables. This is how much money other companies owe this company. Current liabilities is 147 million. Let's see what that is. Current debt of 44 million. Accounts payable of 96 million. That's how much money this company owes other companies. And other of 473,000. Equity is total assets minus total liabilities. That's 530 million. That's the value of the company according to the balance sheet. Common stock of 875 million. Retain earnings of negative 344 million. So that means they're operating at a loss historically. And negative 700,000 in accumulated other comprehensive income. Let's get their operating income. We also need this to calculate one of the ratios later. That's 54 million. Let's look at a capital structure. 65% debt, cost of debt 2.14%. 35% equity, cost of equity 9.23% and the WAC is 4.6% which is a blend of the cost of debt and cost of equity and that's the discount rate we're going to apply to the future cash flows. We estimated four years of future free cash flows that's here in blue. We also estimate a terminal value which is all cash flows past year four that's one billion Canadian dollars. We discounted those numbers back to today using the weighted average cost of capital that's here in green. We get a value of the company of 1.1 billion dollars. We divide that by 67 million shares and we get a calculated stock price of $16.22. They're trading at $11, so they're trading at a 32% discount, so it's a buy according to the model. Simply Wall Street has them at $8.52, so they're in the other direction. Let's see where the stock has been trading. So it looked like it was pretty steady for a number of years, but then it dropped off a cliff at coronavirus, and it seems like it keeps dropping. So it's at a pretty low point, so it could be a good value stock. Let's look at the financial ratios. Terrible P.E., good price to sales, good price to book. P.E. is stock price over earnings per share. To calculate earnings per share, that's net income over shares outstanding. I like to see below 15, they're at 98.5. So investors are paying $99 for $1 of earnings. 
Price of sales is stock price over sales per share. To calculate sales per share, that's revenue over shares outstanding. I like to see below 2.5, they're at 1.1. So investors are paying $1.10 for $1 of revenue. Price to book is stock price over book value per share. To calculate book value per share, that's equity over shares outstanding. I like to see below 3.5, they're at 1.4. So investors are paying $1.40 for $1 book value. So a bad current ratio, bad ROE, and a decent interest coverage ratio. Current ratio is current assets over current liabilities, so they cannot cover their current debts and payables. That's a little concerning. They may need to take on more debt. ROE is net income over equity, so they don't provide much value to their equity holders. Interest coverage ratio is EBIT over interest expense, so they can't cover their interest payments. The best way to look at ratios is to compare them to similar companies. I've done videos on DaVita, Extendicare, and here's Sienna. Extendicare and Sienna are in Canadian dollars, so I converted them to US dollars. So Sienna has a worse than average PE and price of sales, but they do have the best price to book of all the companies, so they have the best balance sheet, which is important. They're the worst in current ratio, the worst in ROE. They have the lowest debt of the three companies, but they're not low, 65%. And their market cap is under a billion dollars, so they're pretty small next to extended care, which is small. DeVita is a really big company. Let me know what you think of the video. Leave a comment. I'll be sure to answer. Thanks for watching.